it's uh, the day of the Benny Boy Biker Book Pass and also the live event that uh, I've planned to do. So I'm on my way to that car park. There's at least one person I know is going to be there. So this isn't going to be a whole wasted trip and effort and stuff. So we'll see who, who else turns up. Hopefully there'll be more than one. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I've scheduled the live event to start very shortly. What I'm going to do is pull over just before I get there and uh, start the event and connect my iPhone up. And I'll ride to the location. So that part of the journey should, hopefully, fingers crossed and all, be broadcasting live to my YouTube channel. Now, I'm sure people have done this before, um, in general. I'm just not sure if this has ever been done on a motor vlogging channel. So I'm certainly the only person I know that's uh, attempted to do this. Hopefully this isn't gonna make me too late. I did leave with plenty of time, I'm sure I did. <laughs> late to my own damn uh, event. How very unprofessional. I don't even know if I am late, I don't know what time it is. I don't have the luxury of a clock on, uh, on this bike. Oh, the joys of biking. In a car you'd have to sit in all this like these lot. Well, I'm in sight of the car park. It's up on that hill over there. I can just see the fence. Uh, looks like it's pretty quiet up there, which is good. Okay. Ugh. That's, that's, that's a close-up nobody wants to see. <coughs> good morning, everybody. We're live. Okay. It's in. Hope you've got a half-decent view. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it's just pointing totally the wrong way. Anyway, this is only just for... A couple of minutes until I get up to the car park. Hopefully, no one's uh, decided to turn up early. Because I'd like to just get the moment when a bike appears into the car park with me waiting. So, hopefully, you can still hear me and we're still live on YouTube. Welcome along. I will do a video after this um, explaining how I've done this in case anyone wants to know. Um, obviously I couldn't uh, stream direct from my helmet cam because there's just no way of doing that, or well, certainly not that I know of at the minute. Um, although it would be good if you could get an app, like the drift, if the new, a new version of the Drift app could um, send the stream of your camera straight to uh, an output such as Google. Are you really, you really going to do that? Jeez, professional driver or what? There you go, first live, um, first live pillock on YouTube, if it caught it. And it was a bus driver of all people, right. Anyway, yeah, I'll, um, I'll do a video on how this all gets set up. So if you want to have a go at doing this yourself, I can give you a bit of a how-to. Right, we're almost there. Let's see if anyone's, uh, anyone's turned up yet or not. I am running a little bit late because I got stuck in a little bit of traffic on the A27. Wasn't too bad. Got to do a bit of filtering. But I, yeah, I know at least one person's turning up today, so this shouldn't be a complete waste of time. So here we are. Uh, people taking photos. I'm just going to go up the top end here. I'm surprised there's only one car here. I was expecting to be quite a few because this looks like a top dog walking spot. Oh, there's one car goes, another one appears. And watch this. Okay, this happens to me. This happens to me every time I do something in a car park. Be a complete empty car park like this. He's, he's doing it, you know. Complete empty car park like this. I'll try and do a video. And then someone comes and parks right next to me. Typical Volvo drivers. 
See what I mean? Oh, this car park. And you put it there. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move somewhere else. And then when the next people turn up, you can watch them do the same thing. It wasn't me. <laughs> Pop back in there a sec. Yeah, it was typical. Oh, I forget where it was now. Similar car park to this. I thought, oh no, I'll just stop. I'll stop in this car park and uh, do some, do a bit of photo shoot on the bike. Some pillock, <laughs> some inconsiderate pillock comes and uh, just parks up right next to me. I was like, cheers. I know it's a car park. You can park where you want and all that, but <laughs> that's just darn annoying. Right. We're still live on YouTube, according to that. So, the reason I picked this spot was because it was in a really good 4G signal area. So I thought, if I'm going to do this, it's best to do it on a 4G network, because it's going to have the best speeds and all that. So it should be less less trouble with the stream. Also, <laughs> what a view. So, if you're watching Benny Boy, I know you said you'd probably try and tune in today. Here's your already well-traveled book. So there it is. Got my sticker on the front there. Uh, I did try and keep it brief, but I kind of got a bit carried away. And luckily, I managed to fit it all on one page. So that's my little entry. Brilliant idea with this dot to dot. <laughs> it's just stupid and funny. <laughs> and as I said before, the standard has been raised by Motor Marvin, or his his wife, I should say which is very good, and I think I've mostly managed to keep up to standard with that. So that's that, That's my attempt. It, w it was totally me that did this, of course, nobody else, haha. <laughs> and for the eagle-eyed viewers of you, you may recognize a little bit of a, a similarity between this doodle and a certain album cover from a band called The Offspring. I decided to color it in the same colors as the kid on the front of the Americana album, just to see if anyone will notice. But obviously those of you watching live now know that, but uh, people who don't, well, we'll see. Oh, I hear a bike, I hear a bike. I see a bike. I believe this is Ryan O'Neill. Hello. The non angry biker. All right. That's definitely not me then. <laughs> no. <laughs> the one that. Oh, actually, let's see if it's, if it's in here or not. If he's in here or not. The one that uh, confuses me a little is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ginger Biker 82. Half a crash. Half a crash? <laughs> yeah. Will he come off and fall back on again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure either you crash or you don't. I'd, yeah, I don't know what's... Um, yeah, I don't know what that one's about. <laughs> right. Well, it's nearly 22 and nobody else has turned up yet, so I'm going to hang around here till 12 o'clock, so if anyone is turning up, make it quick. <laughs> okay, so if anyone's watching, uh, Ryan O'Neill's been and uh, he's just left now. Taking the top tubes card. He hasn't taken the book because he doesn't think he'd be able to pass it on to anybody um, sort of very quickly or anyone or he doesn't know anybody that will be uh, up for getting it next. So I am still in possession of the Benny Boy Biker book because no one else has turned up here. Uh, what time is it now? Just gone 12 o'clock. Now I've just been having a look at uh, my emails and I have had a comment. Uh, on the live stream from Fisher Boy saying he he's trying to uh, get sorted to get down here. Uh, whether he'll turn up or not, I don't know. Obviously, I can't hang around here all day, so I'm probably going to probably going to stay till about half twelve. See if anyone else does happen to turn up, and 
yeah, take it from there. If not, then uh, I, I'll still obviously have the book, and I'll still need to pass it on to somebody. Well, I'll keep the stream rolling until either A, my phone battery dies, or I go out of uh, four, 3 or 4G signal range. So yeah, it's just gone half 12 now, so I think I've, uh, I've uh, waited around here long enough. So I'm going to move on, and if anyone does happen to turn up and I get a message saying, where are you, then uh, I'll have to try and arrange something else. Because I think uh, Fisher Boy was going to try and get over. I don't know if he actually uh, started making his way or not. I don't know where he's coming from. So <laughs> I hope I've not left and he's going to turn up here a little bit later. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit disappointing with uh, only having um, Ryan O'Neill turn up. I was kind of hoping there'll be a, at least one or two more just to make it a, a little bit more interesting for the live thing. Uh, but as the live thing goes, as far as I can tell, that's all worked perfectly well. No, nope, no nod. Up yours then. <laughs> you semi-squid. Oh, I just thought, I need to wee moto. Is there anything I need? Anything I need to get? i nipping there while I'm out here. No. I don't think there is. Oh, well. Oh, there's an email. My, my ears just pinged. I probably ought to check it, actually, just in case it's uh, someone who's turned up wondering where I am. Right, the email was from Esmoto Dan begging for the Benny Boy Biker book, so uh, yeah, I think we might have to send it his way because uh, he, he's really keen for it, I can tell. So, Esmoto Dan, I'll speak to you later and uh, we'll, try and, we'll try and do something. Worthing Pier. Should I stop for ice cream? Tempting. Whoa. I hate it when they do that. I don't know if... You just don't know if they've seen you or not. They've probably seen you and they're going just to uh, get halfway across, but it's still... It makes you twitch. Oh, bother. I've just noticed I'm doing zero miles an hour. I'm not speeding at all. In fact, I'm not going anywhere, but the rest of the planet is moving towards me. I've had this before, I know exactly what it is, it's just the speedo cable has uh, become loose. And I don't know why it does that, because I'm sure I'd give it a good tighten up last time it happened. Either that or something uh, more serious has happened. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, the former. Get off your phone, you muppet! Right, we find somewhere to pull over. We find a little side road. Uh, oh, I'm going to go down here. Ah, damn you pedestrians. Kids and your BMXs. You didn't even cross all the way. You bastards. I will hunt you down and pop your bloody tyres. But now I'm going to pull in here and uh, check my speedo. Uh, oh. Camber is awkward. That's, that's, that's quite a lean. <laughs> Don't fall over. Uh, speedo cable is that one there. Speedo cable is, oh, <laughs> firmly attached to the bike. At that end, what about that end? Uh, balls. I think we might have a bit more of a major problem. And one other thing for it then, that's return to base and uh, investigate, investigate further. That's just too difficult. Jesus, that's quite a lift. Right, let's go home, take a leak, 
to find out what's wrong with this thing. I hope you get done for speeding. Even though I have no idea if you're speeding or not. Bastards with your luxuries like a speedometer and a fuel gauge and a clock. You car drivers don't... Libyans! The Libyans! <laughs> you car drivers don't know how lucky you got it. Right, well, I've come back to base to have a look at what's wrong with the speedo. What happened before was this had just came loose from the back of the speedo and it was just hanging down. This time it wasn't the case, it was all done up properly on both ends, but I'm pretty sure that's not a good thing. So yeah, the, the cable has actually snapped down at, uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not, in fact it's gone now, but yeah, there's, it's broken at that end, so I'm going to have to order a new one. So, uh, which typically, earlier when I was up on that hill, I said, Wee Moto's just around the corner, I could go and get some bits if I need any, but typically the speedo was working at that point, so I didn't know I needed it, which is just sod's law. Anyway, continuing on with the whole Benny Boy biker book thing and everything, meet Fisher Boy. He turned up about half hour after I'd left, I think. About that, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, he was up on the hill. When I got back here, I got a message from him saying uh, that he was here, but no one else was there. So I was like, ah, typical. Yeah, so I said to him, rather than having a wasted journey, come down here and we'll get you to sign the book. So uh, here he is. Uh, he's signed the book. Uh, the book's still going to go to S Moto Dan, which I'm going to try and pass to him next weekend because he's going to the Brighton Burn Up. I don't think I'll be going, but I'll try and meet him on the way. One way or another, he's going to get it. And uh, Fisherboy also has a book, which I have signed. I'm actually honoured to be the first person, the first name in the book. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check out Fish's channel, and obviously if you want to uh, get your name in his book, obviously get in touch with him, and uh, he'll arrange something for you. So, it's been a really interesting day. I need to go back and watch all this footage and see how well the live thing turned out. Um, yeah. Ride safe, everybody, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So, I'm going to change this. Um, it's not getting any faster, so we'll call it 16 miles an hour, but you might recognise where I'm going with it, because it looks a lot like... <laughs>